Happy weekend. We're getting ready for Dane's birthday. He's gonna be turning five, which I just can't believe. We're gonna be celebrating his birthday on Sunday. It's not his actual birthday, but it's the easiest day to do it. So today I'm working on getting his cake made. Um, I've mentioned in one of the videos I, I did previously that I do whenever I can try to make cakes for the kids. It's just a fun little tradition that I want to be able to do for them, something to give back to them as far as having the memories, you know, to look back on because they love to be involved in making the cakes. So today that's what I'm doing. And it's hot and humid <laughs> and I've got to bake cakes. The well, house is already getting pretty hot. Uh, Nora's at camp this week and she's been having a lot of fun. And this year I am, I've figured out a hack with those boxed cakes mixes. Um, I used to make cakes from scratch and it just took so long and they were really tricky because you had to figure out, Warren, you had to figure out like the right measurements for the cake. So it was just really, really time consuming and we don't do big parties for our kids just with how young they are. But, you know, when they get older, we're planning on doing that. But right now it's like, yeah, we'll just keep it family, immediate family. So I'm like, you know, I don't really need to go to all this trouble when it's just us eating it. So the boxed cake mixes, if you go onto Pinterest, you can find some hacks to kind of, you know, bring them up a level or two, putting milk instead of water, butter instead of the oil, things like that, and it helps with the taste and the texture. So I'm doing that this year, and it's helping a ton. So I've got his first two cakes in. Um, we're gonna be doing a tiered cake. The bottom, I don't even know what the size those are. I think those are eight inch rounds. So the bottom's gonna be eight inch rounds. And then I believe this is a six inch, although it doesn't say. So this will be the top. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm being told how to decorate the cake. Um, so the bottom's gonna be like a Funfetti rainbow chip batter cake. And then the top is going to be chocolate. And a lot of why it takes me so stinking long to do these is I've got two pans for that size, but I only have one for this and I need two, two cakes that I can trim and put together. So they take a long time to bake, first of all, and then I have to do it one at a time when I do the chocolate one. So it is definitely a labor of love doing these. I am not a professional baker. I'm not even an amateur baker um, or decorator. I've never been trained, taught anything, taken any classes on how to decorate cakes. I've just learned through Pinterest. Pinterest is such a fantastic uh, resource if you're looking to learn stuff like this. And yeah, it, it takes me a little bit longer, but uh, it's worth it. It's something that I like to do for the kids. Going slow because they're walking slow. The boys are being entertained right now. We've got the Local justice system at work. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but I see one and another one and another one. Cleaning up. Cleaning up all the garbage. Why are they cleaning up all the garbage? Oh, it's their job right now. Flash. Mama. <laughs> I can clean up really fast. Are you super excited for your cake? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's your cake gonna be? A Spider-Man, what? Yeah. <laughs> I'm very relieved. Warren, be nice. I'm very relieved. He changed his mind on uh, the Death Star cake that he, Warren, no. Stay out of the eggs. The Death Star cake that he um, had requested. They're big into Star Wars. And Nora had a BB-8 cake for her seventh birthday this year and of course he chose a Death Star and I'm like well <clears throat> it wouldn't be that difficult to do but it would you'd have to be so specific with the details where it's just gonna look like a big gray ball so I was quite intimidated by that and I may have kind of nudged him along and like okay what about this what about that you're really into boys you're really into this and that. Why don't we try, you know, looking at one of these? And he changed his mind for Spider-Man. Thank goodness. Oh. Yeah, it's hot. Got first one out of the oven. And it looks great. Yeah, it's not really right. And I can't believe we are at this point. <clears throat> 
We got little sippy cups for Abby today because I'm gonna be starting her on solid foods. So having a little something there for her to drink some water and, and such. And then I got one of one of these. We're gonna be doing um, like full baby led weaning, the full baby led weaning approach this time around. I've always made the kids as food. Um, we used the baby bullet system, which was fantastic. I love that system. But this time around I was thinking, well, because I would usually do a mixture of the purees and then just having things, you know, cooked really well and giving them small chunks of things, I was like, well, we'll just we'll just do that this time around. Um, because the baby bullet, yeah, don't touch it, it's hot. Um, because the baby bullet system, I had pulled it out of its packaging when um, I was near the end of my pregnancy just because I was trying to think ahead about what I was wanting what I was wanting to do this time around for her and the motor had burned out. So then I was like, well, what? what? no showing him the mommy. But they're my stamps. Please give them to me. You've been told no, not right now. Yes. You need to get off of the counter. Um, back up, it's hot. Uh, what was I saying? So, yeah, I was researching um, other baby food system, you know, systems, and I was like, I just don't think there's any point to it. It's not super popular here in the U.S., but in other parts of the world, they've been, yes, yes, I need the butter. They've been doing it for a long time. So, I did the research on it, and we decided to go that route, but I can't believe that we are almost there. It's going really fast this time around, especially with her. She's like almost crawling now. She's up on her hands and knees and she's rocking back and forth and she's not even six months yet. And she's definitely the the most advanced as far as all of our kids physically so far. None of them, the boys didn't start crawling until about seven months. And then Nora, she would pull herself up on things and then walk along things. So she didn't start until, uh, she didn't start full on crawling until like nine, almost 10 months because she would just pull herself up on stuff and just walk around the room using furniture. So a tip that I have found that really, as you can see from taking that other cake out, it really, really helps, is you grab some parchment paper and we're gonna put it in the bottom. But first we're gonna use um, some spray or you could use you know, oil, butter, whatever. This stuff's really, really nice though. It's just so nice to have it in a spray. You don't get that gross, no. you know, Pam taste. Canola oil taste, boys. There'll be holes in this cake by the time they're done with it. And then you just sprinkle a little bit of flour in your pan and it's the best release that you can ask for, so. Hi, Mommy. Little crank woke up. Are you Vatsy and Cranky? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you for cleaning up your mess, you guys. The cake isn't going to be ready for a little while. I think you need to go wash that face. <laughs> How many more minutes? It still has a while. You guys need to um, find something to play with. You guys, this is what it's like having to do stuff like this with kids around. Um, I went to check on the cake and I was looking at the timer and luckily I happened to notice the temperature, which was set at 500 degrees. The boys can reach the oven and one of them, or well, someone, because of course it wasn't either of them, had cranked it all the way up and it's just, yeah, it must not have been on for very long at that high temperature, but you can tell it burned a little bit on the top, which is fine because, you know, you just trim that off. Um, 
I'm quite proud of that. There is oh, probably not much else that's more satisfying than when your cake releases perfectly from the pan. And I credit it to that combination of, um, is that parchment paper? No, wax paper. Wax paper, flour, and the butter, the butter spray. It works really well, as you can see. Grab Nora. <laughs> Nora. Nora. Hey, kiddo. That was hey. your last camp. I know. Your last day. You have fun? Yep. I had to put my shoes back on. What'd you do today? Uh, I went to the dancing area mm -hmm. and then at the basketball court there was this big jumpy playhouse. Castle of Jumping Playhouse. It was huge. Mm. It only reached to the ceiling. Fun. Yeah. What else did you do? Did you swim? You got your swimsuit? Yeah, it's in my backpack. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> guys um the cakes are i guess you would call crumb coated but the decorating is gonna wait until tomorrow it is like almost six o'clock and nathan's not home and the house is a mess i've got dinner in the oven but <laughs> yeah the decorating isn't gonna happen tonight so i'll pick up on it tomorrow i'm gonna try to fit this all into one video if it's not too terribly long otherwise it might be an awkward two part video but right now kids are out and thank goodness they're out they need to be it's been so hot lately i haven't been able to get outside and we're feeling it we're all feeling it the boys have been so just nuts so i'm really glad they're outside but yeah we're gonna pick up with the cakes tomorrow Nathan should be home. He's been working a ton of overtime, but he's supposed to have tomorrow off, which will help me out a lot. So this never goes smoothly, ever. And it's usually the fondant that gives me the biggest struggle. But red, oh my gosh, I swear, red fondant is the worst to work with. Look at it. Part of the problem is how stinking hot and humid this house is. But I don't know, it's something about red fondant. I had to deal with it with um, Warren's cake for his third birthday because he wanted um, a Cars cake, Lightning McQueen, so there's a lot of red in that theme. And I had so much trouble with it for that cake, and this one's no different. It's just so delicate. I don't know if it's that they have to put so much stuff in the fondant that it makes it just, it's a lot more delicate. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to 
cover and patch some of this stuff. But yeah, so as you guys can see, clearly I am not, you know, super skilled. I've just learned what I can from other people who have shared their tutorials, you know, real real actual bakers, and I'm just doing doing my best with it. And this is usually how it ends up. There are cracks in the fondant and there are um, rips in the fondant underneath stuff that goes on top. And that's the frustrating thing. Of course it had to happen with this layer because the blue layer is going to have a little cityscape scene all around it. So if it had happened with the blue layer, it wouldn't have been a problem. But I wasn't really planning on covering all of the red or the majority of the red. So now I gotta get creative, patch it up. Whenever I have to be precise about measurements, this is the guy that does it. He's a lot more patient than I am about stuff like this, and these are the little home hacks that you do. So I'm gonna try to draw a spider web on here. Let's see if I can follow those lines. <laughs> Okay, like I said, I wasn't planning on covering the red, but I needed to because, oh, that stinking fondant was a problem. But I think it turned out okay, and we covered up the issues. <laughs> I mean, as best we can. Again, it's just a family cake. Um, the only problem I have now, because I wasn't planning on doing this all over the place, is this guy is gonna sit on top of it and he's gonna mess up he's gonna mess up the the gel webs whenever he does so i can't put him on right now he also wouldn't fit in the fridge or the cake wouldn't fit in the fridge if i do it now so i can't put him on quite yet i think otherwise it's done though i really can't think of anything else to do um and I mean, like, yeah, you saw, I put the, I put the wooden dowel in to keep it on because the bottom layer has a little bit of a, of a dome to it. So the red one, I was worried about it falling off and there is a little bit of a gap, which again, always seems to happen with when I do these. Uh, but yeah, they'll, they'll stay together in the fridge. Okay. And then, and then he'll just wait to sit on it until tomorrow. Um, so you guys aren't going to see like the final cake product. If you want to see that, you're gonna have to follow me on Instagram, um, because tomorrow I'll be, uh, I'll post like pictures and stuff of Dane with the cake and with Spider-Man on it. And then we'll be doing like, I'll do Insta stories and stuff because I, we're not going to vlog it. Um, again, we just, we like to keep birthdays right now, just kind of a special family day where we just focus on the birthday kid. So I don't want to be all tied up in filming. So I'm not going to film his birthday and have it on my channel, but you can go over to Instagram and check out pictures and uh, check out my Insta stories for the 24 hours. Uh, but it will be tomorrow, Sunday the 
29th. Sometime in the afternoon is when we'll start, after we get home from church. But, uh, yeah, it's, I got it done, a pretty good time. It's only 1.30 in the afternoon, but I gotta get this house cleaned. So, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I think it's already getting a little bit long. So, if you're still with me, thank you. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching this. I appreciate you guys supporting my channel. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new and if you're already a subscriber, thank you very much. I appreciate your support. And we'll see you guys with the next video. Uh, next week is gonna be a busy, busy week for us. We're getting ready to go to Washington, the kids and I. So um, we're gonna be packing and cleaning. I'm planning on another cleaning video next week. So we'll be busy, but I'll get a couple of videos out for you guys next week. <laughs>